Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Dan. All right, today is the, the 12th of August and we're gonna do a tour of the, the garden today, the food forest, you know, to show you some stuff that's growing. I haven't done a tour in a while. I just want to share you guys, keep you guys update. You know, I know a lot of you like seeing the tours and seeing all the food that's growing in the, in the, in the permaculture type food forest set up. All right, so, you know, and, and this is also a testament to, you know, the, the, your space doesn't matter. You could grow a lot of food in just a quarter of an acre, you know. You know, this is a typical suburban backyard, you know, in a HOA community, you know, and you're able to grow your food, you know. And a lot of people always say, you know, they don't have space, you always have space to grow, regardless of what. It's always, you know, when you look at, you know, countries like, oh, you know, in other parts of the world, like in Asia, sometimes you see some small areas that they have and they're growing abundance of food. So anyone could do it, all right? So, you know, let's go check out the garden, the food forest. Let's start with the chickens this morning. Chickens are... You know, going through, <laughs> uh, probably finding bugs and all that stuff around the, the bananas, you know. Yep. There's like three, let me see, one, there's three right here. And then there's two, if you look over there, there's two right here. The black one right here and the white one right here. The, the, the brown ones are extremely friendly, you know, like they come up to you and just want to play. So have them free range in the food forest, you know. They, you know, all they do is just bugs, they dig up the stuff, they get insects, you know, so that's a plus side to the whole natural process of gardening, you know. Animals gonna be around, you know. So everything is just the whole system flow. So the next thing, let's let's start over here too. You know, all right, the, the, the guava tree, as usual, is loaded. We've been getting a lot of fruits. You know, like every day I'm here, here like harvesting fruits, you know, from, from the guava. Remember this guava is a tree we grow from, from seed. Yeah, so, you know, I'm enjoying all this. Everyone is producing every year. This is the third year and it seems like every year there's just more fruits. You know. So if you look around, let's see. Shoot. There's, there's fruits everywhere. I mean, I show you in multiple videos. You know, there's no lack of fruits here at all. <laughs> Always something. And, you know, like all the fruit trees have their season. One season you get in, you know, plums. Another season you get in the mangoes. You get in, you know, you know, there's always, you know, cherries. Always a season for stuff here in the food forest. And that's why you plant multiple different varieties and species of plants that you always have food different times of the year like the bananas so it is one rack right here you know I'll show you another one rack here this is going to be probably ready pretty soon you know and if we come over here over here look there's another another rack about to push right here you know, so there's ton, ton, tons of food, food. Yep. So we have a lot, the, all the herbs are doing great too. Yeah, doing extremely well. Yep, yeah, this is a uh, cutting of the, the hog plum in a container. It's pretty big now, you know. I, you know, I'm, I'm just growing this, you know, I don't know, maybe somebody need it, I'll sell it to them, but it's a extremely big, big tree. I can't ship it, it's something that you, you gotta definitely pick up locally. Yep. And the herbs are still doing good. You know, Cuban oregano, the thyme over there is doing good. You know, Chris and Tulsi is doing extremely well. Sea salt, spinach, you know, so we still have a you know beautiful leafy greens here going on, you know. And then you have a new addition to the food forest here. This is a black forest guava. 
you know, I think guava tastes so good. You know, that's that's I, I grow so much variety. I re really like it. Yep. Then right here we have a bunch of different herb seedlings and stuff going on. This is an edible hibiscus. Uh, let me try and remember. I forget the name of the hibiscus. You know, but once it get big, big enough, you know, yeah. Uh, show you guys more of that over here we have you know some seedling guava one 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 is the white and one is the the pink you know in two different containers this is a day avocado in this container here yeah yeah over here is the uh let me see the rain i think this is the let me see the the rainforest plum, and for, it's showing like it's putting on some blooms right here for the first time. You know the plant is is very small, but but like it's putting on some blooms right now. All right, over here we have these are some seedling that survived the cold. You know they were like tiny stuff during the 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 the, the cold that we got early in the year. And now look at the size of the plants. This is a sour sap, you know. You know. And one more right here. Yeah, looking looking really good. And then there's another one here. Yep. And over here we have a Rolinia. It's growing in this corner. Yeah. I think we have another Rolinia here in this container. Which I'm gonna keep these in these this one in container. You know, until spring next year, spring before I actually put it in the ground. Hopefully, this survive whatever type of winter we get this year. And then over here we have our quimac ceiling right here. We have a red sugar apple. Let's see. We got a red red sugar apple right here from seed actually guys look at all these fruit trees everything right here is grown from seed everything yep everything right here from seed if we come over here i think this is another rolinia right here this is a pris prisley atamoya and right here. So everything's looking good though and if you look right here, this is a one of the sour zaps that I actually put in ground, and that's doing extremely good right here. Yep. And and right beside the sour sap is a variety, a, a great tasting variety, a cassava named Togo from West Africa, which you know I'm growing, growing a, a few of these well in the food forest. Yeah. Yep. There's a pomegranate here, the wonderful pomegranate, which, you know, I don't know if it's going to ever bear fruit, but let's see. It's getting big and looking re real good. Yep. All right. Right down below you, we have a, the blue java, the carver that I got from Virginia uh, fruit grower. And he gave me the seed, and uh, the seed came up right here. So that's looking good. All right, let's walk over here. There is a sugar ap apple here that I grew from seed. It's about one year old now, and it did push a little single fruit here. Yeah, I'm surprised that it fruit in that first year, not even a full year when it actually pushed the fruit, but it, it did, yeah. So, yeah, I didn't want to take it off. I was like, oh, just let it do whatever it's doing. Yeah, and the chickens love just being in a free range and enjoying the area. And over here, let's see. Over here, we, we have a dragon fruit. Let me see. I need to come over and take more care of this dragon fruit. Like, you know, really help it trellis more. You know, I, it's a, I, I'll show you what it's looking like. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put more effort in taking care of these dragon fruits. Sometimes they go ignored, 
you know. And I really like that there's a yellow variety of dragon fruit here, you know, named honey something and another variety, you know. So I'm looking forward to see, you know, get something from that pretty soon. So right over from the cassava, we come over here and then we have a world's best mulberry here. Yeah, this is the world's best mulberry. I planted this from a six inch cutting and look at it now, guys. Yeah, not even a full year since it's planted as a six inch cutting. And about 15 feet from the world's best mulberry, we come over here and we have a June plum. This June plum is grown from seed. I think it's like about oh, two and a half years now, going on three years. So looking forward to this fruiting pretty soon so this tree is probably going to get extremely big you know which I'm, I'm okay with it because where the location is you know so one other thing I, 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 I put in consideration when I'm like thinking about planting trees there's certain trees that's going to get used in the food forest and there's certain trees that's more like you know it probably get 12 to 15 feet tall so I kind of put those trees near near to you know, more densely to the trees that's gonna get extremely big. So, you know, everything should just flow and, and just looks good. Yeah. So right here is a Suriname cherry, right beside the, 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 what, the, the June plum. And over from, it's about like five feet, yeah, from the Suriname cherry is a dwarf Hawaiian you know, see what it is a dwarf Hawaiian star fruit. So it's a dwarf variety of star fruit. So this should also, you know, be perfectly fine here. And then we have a bunch of cassava going here. Yeah, you know, yep. Cassava going here. And we have more roselle growing on here. If we come around here, we have yams. Yams growing here. We have the butterfly pea. Yeah, which you know you could use that in teas. Yeah, if you come come over this side now, you have this is a gumichama, which it, all it does is just push flowers, no fruit yet. Yeah, and then over from the gumichama, we have the the the, the ducks are right there. Yeah, yep, and right behind the ducks, we have more bananas. Yep, bananas produce so much food you know and I, I think as I said in one of my videos we all need to be growing more bananas you know yep. over here is another mulberry that I got six inches within a year it's not even a full year as I say this is like almost 15 feet tall that's how fast these mulberry trees grow yep right here is a seedling mango which you know I had multiple graphs on it before it died during the cold spell, so I'm gonna cut it back again, graph hunt it, and see what happened. In this corner over here, we have the the hog plum or June plum, uh, not not June plum, hog plum, suela, yeah, which produce thousands of fruit this year. A big, big, huge tree. And below it now, if you notice how everything is, yeah, the, the un, overstory, understory here, yeah, that's going in. So right here is Katuk. Yep, and there's sorrel right here below, you know. So everything kind of just flow and works, works in, the, in, in this kind of forest setting. Because yeah, that's what the forest is, you have big trees, small trees, you know. And if we come over here now, we have a big papaya here. Side papa is moringa, moringa. We have a curry plant right in the middle right here. We have turmeric, we have dragon fruit running on the fence, using the tree as a trellis as well. You know, so hopefully we get something from that as well. And then if you look over here, we have sweet potato growing here. This is a purple, a deep purple variety, a potato, potato, not yam, potatoes growing right here, yeah. And over here we have sorry, we have more cassava growing right here. We have another June plum here, which I push in the back, I know it's gonna get big, you know. 
and right from over the Jupiter, there's more it's bananas here. There's a seedling loquat here, which if the fruit is good, it's gonna stay. If the fruit is not good, it's still gonna stay. God, I could utilize it for something else. <laughs> yeah, yep. All right. We have turmeric green as an understory here, which is good. Yeah. Then this is come around here yeah so right here we have a key apple just in between so the cassava right now is growing kind of shade the the key apple over here from the key apple is a what's uh elderberry so if you look up there on the elderberry there's a lot of blooms on top and little berries as well Yep, and then let's, let's open the gate and show you guys what's going on. So behind the gate we have cranberry hibiscus. T look how tall these cassava are, like almost 20 feet. More cassava here, you know, tons of cassava, more edible. So everything here is edible. The, 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 the plum trees are getting huge, which is good too. Yep. We come over here. We have a guava. Remember, this is a guava I haven't tasted yet. I finally got the fruit. It's a white. So this foot guava is a white. So if you've been following the channel, you know I grew a bunch of guava from seed. This variety you know, is the first one, first fruit I'm getting, and it's behind the fence. You know, so first fruit was good. It's a white variety, white small variety. The first fruit was small. Let's see what happened after that. We had a huge pigeon piece right here. Yeah, show you guys how tall it is. Big. <laughs> yep. Then we come come back inside. We got a papaya here, giant Thai. Yeah. More cassava. Right beside the the cassava is the aki. Yeah, this aki tree is going to get huge and that's the reason it's way back in the food forest. I mean huge, probably going to be about like a 30 foot tree, a yeah, 30, 40 foot tree going to be back here, which is fine. And beside that there's the, the, white, the uh, white, another guava, you know, which is full of fruits. I'm going to get you guys full of fruits. Everything it look green right now, but there's tons of fruits right here. Let's see if you guys can see that. Tons of fruit right here. Yep. All right, let's go more and more cassava here. More cassava. This variety of cassava, I don't know what it is yet. Yeah, but when I taste it, I'll know. <laughs> yeah, somebody just gave me a cut in a day. It resembles, it looks like the Togo, but I don't think it's Togo. That's a different variety. More cassava. Yeah, bananas. Yeah, we come over here. <clears throat> Got some figs. These fig figs been neglected. Yeah, you know, so the figs has been dropping off. I completely, you know, kind of forget about them right here. Then we have what's the name? Here? We have uh, chaya. This is another world's best mulberry. Then right beside that we have a sugar apple here. You know, the sugar apple is planted extremely close to to the the these about seedling. Nesberry. Yeah. Yep, uh sapodilla. Yep. And then we have let's see. Then we have this huge guava here. A very sweet, delicious fruit. You know, I can't wait for the fruits to start ripening now too. Yep. Tons of fruit. But like look, there's a I think a fruit just fell. A fruit fell. I missed that one. <laughs> a lot of fruits, and the fruits are delicious. Yep, and I have no problem with fruit flies or not like that with these guava, which is good. Huge tree. Yep. Yep, and then over from over from the guava, about 15 feet from the guava, we come right over here, and we have you know a peanut butter fruit is right here yep. 
All right, over here, right here is one of one of my grafted mango. This is a, this is a carry. I graft onto I, some and store bought seedling. You know, I graft that. So so the graft on this is looking good. Yeah, it's in a shaded area. I need to. You know, I, I probably don't need to do nothing. Let's leave it. Let it just grow and do its own thing here. Yeah, so that's 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 that's. We got some rosa right here, looking good. Yeah. Yep. And more, more rosa right here. Those are looking good too. The Barbados cherry. Yeah. This. Yeah. Hope hope it gets some fruits this year. If you know there's something right here too. This is a big, you know, Matinga, you know, strawberry tree. This was huge, you know, and I cut it right off. It does well with pruning. So if you have one of these trees, don't forget to just chop it. Chop off, it was like a big umbrella. You're covering over the whole food forest. Chop it off. All the brown you see in the ground right here, yeah, is all, I, I come down and show you some. So this brown stuff is from, the 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 matinga from chop uh, chop and drop it on the ground let it break down and just feed the feed the soil right here we got a pickering mango which is looking good this this was hit hard by the cold too yeah but look it's it's put on a lot of new growth i like that yeah the the mangoes you know you don't even need to water these mangoes these mango growing like during the drought you know the two weeks ago that's when these mangoes actually put on a lot of new growth you know which was surprising because there was no water there's nothing and it put on a lot of new growth i'm going to show you this is a pickering let me show you the the the, the carry that let's walk around here let's see my little jungle all right look this is a carry the carry also did the same thing put on a lot of new growth during the the dry period which kind of interested that's why sometimes you just kind of watch nature and just see everything flow you know it was just right here no you know because i don't think mature fruit trees need any form of input like regular watering or nothing like that or drip or nothing of that sort just, you know, the roots is going to find whatever it needs to find and it build a stronger tree too. You know, and I think, you know, this tree put it on, you remember, this got hit by the coal. It was just, all was there was just that, that the, the trunk and it put on all this new growth over the summer, you know, and it's still growing. It's still putting on new growth. So I'm happy about that. Yep. Yeah. So in all and all the, the food forest is looking extremely good. Yeah, I'm I'm pleased uh everything that's going on here. Yep. Alright guys, so that was just you know a quick update tour and show you how much food I I I, I probably didn't show you even quarter of other plants, you know, you, there's so much other stuff going on and the understories here yeah, that I didn't show you in this video. I, I don't want to video be, you know, hour long, yeah, but, you know, it's just so you could grow all this stuff. Hey guys, so thank you so much for watching. All be blessed with peace, love, happiness, and kindness. One love. See you in the next video.